Hello, this is Jim McEwen with ITV 3D, and today's project, which will probably go into two, two parts, is a breaker box handle for an electrical panel. And this is a rather large breaker, several thousand amps, and I understand the breaker is about $10,000 and they don't make the handle anymore. And the insurance company, of course, requires that you can cut the electricity off to your property. So they need this handle repaired. And so we took a look at it and decided probably what I would do is I would take a scan of the existing hub and then make a key basically that fits over that hub and reinforce it with steel and cast it out of the epoxy and then, and then attach it to the hub as you see here. So we went and took video scans from several different angles. It takes a while for these to clear up. And so you can see we got quite a wide variety of shots. Trying to catch detail of the part. And so that was step one of the process. And we'll go back to the shop and start step two. Step two of the process starts off with a program put out by Autodesk called Autodesk Recap Photo. And what Recap Photo allows you to do is to bring in all of the pictures that we just scanned in and bring them into your cloud account. So we start another new object and in here we'll come in here and go get all the files and drop them into the project and we'll create a project give it the name hub and we're going to put auto crop checked here because that gets rid of a lot of stuff that doesn't show up in every shot kind of disappears and it reduces the amount of work you have to do when this file comes back so uploading down here you see 16 20 25 27 30 we're on a pretty fast connection here so it doesn't take long to upload several megabytes of bit audio or video okay so the project is up in the cloud and you see it says zero so right now what it's doing it's registering the project and then rendering that project and what comes back then I'll go ahead and cancel this as I've already done it what comes back then is file that we download and we drop it in the same directory downloading now now once it's downloaded we'll be able to go and load this model in fact it's already given us the option right here here's the new one so there's our scan data. And you see it has color attached to it. You have to forgive me on the uh, zooming and panning as it's totally different than the other software packages I use. But you can see there's our hub. Now the trick is we don't want all this other associated stuff. All we want is that hub right there. And so we'll come in here and oops we're 
going to slice and you have a ball that you orient. It's kind of hard to uh, describe actually until you've done it. But we're orienting that slice you see right there. And what we've got to do is we've got to turn that completely upside down so that what we want is on top of it. There we go. And so that's not, that's not bad. We still have some more cleanup to do though. So we'll apply this and get rid of all that data. Now we're juggling, I didn't check before, but I would say right around 500,000 faces in this scan. So it takes a while to compute some things sometimes. So we're going to do another slice. And this time, we're going to go at it this way. Get rid of all this down here. And now we're going to slice again. And let's see if we can get that in one shot. Yeah, not quite. Okay, we're going to say that's good. So that gets us down to this scan data, which looks a little distorted because we have the mesh on. But the nice part about it is now we have something we can work with that's relatively accurate. And so to get that into a CAD package that we can operate with, we're going to export it. And we're going to export it as a quad OBJ. So instead of triangular faces, there's going to be four pointed faces, uh, quadrature in nature. And Fusion 360 can handle that and work with it quite easily. So we're going to export that. And we're going to call it, uh, yeah, that's fine. Once, Once done, done exporting, exporting we'll, we'll open, open Fusion, Fusion up, up and, and bring, bring this model, model in as, as a mesh in Fusion. Fusion. Sometimes, Sometimes it takes, takes a bit, a bit to, get to get it exported. It's, it's trying, trying to get, to get it, it down, down to 10,000 faces, faces, it looks, looks like. like. Which is still fair amount, amount of faces, faces considering the size, size of it, which, which size is something I should mention. mention. Uh, currently, currently it has, it has no size, it just is a relationship of triangles and how far apart they are from one another in space, space not how far apart they are physically by measuring. Okay, we're going to cut this scene off until it gets done loading. So now, so now we're, we're in, in Fusion, Fusion and, and we're ready, ready to go, to go here. here. The first the thing we need to do is get our mesh brought in, in. and we're going to do that to the insert mesh. mesh. And, and we're going to go up here and get our panel control object, and we're going to bring it in. in. And so, so it will look like that when it comes in. And you can see each of those little tiny squares is a face, and you can see. It doesn't, it doesn't have, have really, really nice, nice crisp, crisp, sharp edges, edges to it. Why doesn't, doesn't it? Because, because the object does. does. Well, no, it's, it's because, because the scanner, scanner in this, this 
or in, in this uh, instance, which, which was, was the cell phones that's all I had with me, uh, regular, regular photo photo photograph camera would have done a better job, uh, was, was confused, confused by, by the lighting, lighting which, which was, was very poor, and, and so, so we, we didn't, didn't get, get a fantastically accurate scan, scan but, it's but it's certainly accurate enough to do what we want to do. So, first, first thing, thing we're going to do is we're going to open a sketch on the bottom plane down here, and we're, we're going to draw, draw this circle. circle. And uh, uh, then, then we're going to extrude that circle up. up. And, and we're going to play, play with, with the draft on this extrusion until it meets up. You see, see how it's got, got mesh showing over here and not quite mesh showing over here. We've approximated our best guess as, as to the correct, correct taper on that. And, and we'll, we'll see if it's correct. But I believe we'll, we'll find out it will be. be. So it so ended, ended up at 1.85193. Degrees. And I forget what the height was. It just said there. But we also went by how much mess was showing on the height. Uh, next, next step, step was to draw, draw a sketch now on the top surface of this to draw, draw this boss on the top. And then and we, we extrude, extrude that, that boss up again. again. Maybe, Maybe I'll make this a little clearer. Uh, if I, I make, make this opaque, now you can kind of see the mesh and the object at the same time. And you can see I kind of went a little over back here at the back because I want to make sure I have plenty of room for the key. Actually, that's the front. Uh, that's where the handle comes out. I want to make sure I have plenty of meat there available because I'm going to reinforce this with the epoxy when I put it all together. So we got that done. Now we need that trench down the middle. And no, actually, what I did was, since that is not square, there's a taper, taper on the top, top of that. that. I drew a sketch, sketch approximating the taper on that. You've got to go by that far side. you got to go, go, go by that. That's the highest one over there. And, and then cut, cut that, that off. off. Uh, I also cut, cut off. The inside, inside trench. trench. And, then and then there was a little piece right there, there remaining. remaining. So I went, I went ahead and cleaned, cleaned that off. off. Okay, okay. Now, now I needed, I needed some, some help. help. I, I needed, needed a plane. plane. So I, I needed, needed a plane. plane. Roughly, right there, you can see that plane. And so we went on that plane and drew a sketch. Whoops. And came out and added this front boss. I know that's a little backwards of the way to do it, uh, but I wanted to make sure I was aligned with this keyway key way up, up here, here and everything centered out, out. so we've, we've, generated we've generated that boss that cleans that up there. And, and so did a little, little offset face there and then proceeded to add fillets. Okay. This, this is where it's, it's interesting. interesting. We, we have, have, let me turn the uh, opacity Back up to 100%. We have a shape that looks like that. Pretty good approximation of the scan. Got a few features showing here and there. 
but overall, a pretty fair interpretation of what we started with. Today's session went a little longer than I thought, and I added it all up. And so we will call this a wrap for today on this particular video and try to get the next one out just as quickly as possible. So please subscribe and follow us. You can find us on Facebook at ITG3D. And we'd love to have you continue and watch and join us as we finish projects like this and totally different as well. Thank you.